Yeah. Hey everybody. <laughs> All right, tonight we're good. we've got a new uh, product that we're going to try. Um, something that we're trying to get to where we're uh, feeding the goats in the morning to go kids that it cuts down on our time due to our work schedule. So I looked around and I found uh, what they call it a milk bar for goats and calves. Um, they're about anywhere from 100 to 100 and some dollars. So um, anyway, on caprinesupply.com, come on guys, get out of here, come on. I found uh, a bucket um, that a friend of ours uses, and so I ordered it, so I'm going to put it together real quick. So I got this, uh, this box comes with this, or this kit comes with this three gallon bucket, uh, and a stand. We'll get this thing put together and show you. I'll show you how it works. We're going to go ahead and milk out the does this evening and see if we can get the babies to take to this. So, anyway, it comes with this uh, prefabricated stand that's kind of tapered. And this bucket sits down inside of it. And then we've got uh, some one way valves, some nipples to go on the bucket. Hose. Now it comes with five, or it comes with ten, ten hoses, ten bucket or ten nipples, ten hoses, ten valves, all that. We're only gonna use five just because we only have five kids, so I don't want to put more hoses on there than I need. Um, so it's pretty simple. This this hose is gonna go into this nipple. Um, I'm actually gonna put the nipple in here first and get get it pulled in. Pulled out. That's sealed it good. Uh, I went ahead and washed the bucket before I came outside. It's because it's got. Uh, it's got. Or it had shavings in it from where the holes were drilled out. And of course, your plastic smell and all that. So we went ahead and washed it before we came outside. But I'm hoping this cuts down on my time in the mornings. Uh, evening is not so bad because I've usually got Cedril here to help with the kids. But in the mornings, I'm pretty well crunched for time. So these uh, these little valves go in the end of the hoses. Um, they're one-way valves, so once they draw milk up into the hose, it doesn't go back into the bucket. Um, <laughs> and that'll help with spreading germs, number one, but it also will let you get your hoses filled up before um, well, before they, you get them trying to use it, because you don't want them sucking air through the hose. So. You may have to get one of the kids to draw some milk up in the poses for baby goats. So I've got all the things, all the valves in. Put all these hoses inside the nipples. So I've got the bucket set up, ready to go. Uh, you can see how all these hoses hook into the Nipples here, they just kind of shove in there. This kit also comes with a, a lid for the bucket. Which the way these little guys jump and run and act crazy, you're going to need a lid on it. And it also comes with a brush um, to clean out these hoses, clean the milk out. You're going to have to you're going to have to do this once a day, or at least every other day, clean out these hoses uh, with warm soapy water. So we're going to get the does milked out. And then we will try to get the get the kids put on that and see how they do. All right, so we've got two brave testers. The other one's a little upset right now, so if she starts fussing, that's um, why. Can you tell us what we're going to do? Yes, so the baby goats cannot suck air, so we need to get all the air out of those. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Uh, what's your question, Abe? How are you gonna do that? It's not me, it's you. <laughs> so, Abe and Ryan, y'all get down here and don't, nope, 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 nope. shut that. 
or and oh yeah you take can the take off. the lid off that's good see those straws we need the milk to come up so suck on those nipples. So suck no. on the nipples. Yep, suck on them. Okay. Oh, oh. Ryan, get over here. No, stop, Eve. Stop, Eve. Get just get down there and suck on it until the the milk comes out. Ryan, you do the first. Get Ow. over there. I don't want to do this. I don't want to put my mouth on it. What? There's grass in it. It's nothing else has ever put its mouth on it, Eve. Ever. Yeah, all right. They're brand new. All right. Wait, just suck the milk Wait, until it gets out on the thing. Fine. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll tell you when, Dave. Go ahead. Just start sucking and I'll tell you when it's at the top. No, no. Okay, fine. One, stop! <laughs> 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 Nope, nope. And whoa, Stop. whoa. Quit. Three more to go. All right, two more. Which ones? The third one, the middle one, and the, the one all the way over I'll here. Okay. Them, Mom. Pat, Pat's gonna. Race. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at Baba. You can race after this. Look at Baba. Maddie, Maddie, is it good? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think we got it figured out. The holder was wrong. You just have to stand in there with them and hold it. You got to make sure you pick it up off the ground and hold it. So that clicking sound is supposed to, that's how you know they're getting milk. Because that's that valve, that one-way valve working. So they seem to have figured it out for the most part. Um, we've gotten a couple uh, little clips and hung this onto the fence to get it a little higher so they're not knocking it over or jumping on it. Um, so we're going to let this go. We can kind of tell there's just a little bit of milk left in there. We're going to see how they do uh, finishing it off. And then hopefully tomorrow in the morning it won't be as much of a struggle. And they'll take right to it again. So I think it was a success. Um, we're we're going to have to let them go for another probably tomorrow morning or the, tomorrow evening because um, they're probably going to have to get good and hungry before they start to realize that the what the nipples are doing for them. Uh, but they're they did drink down a good bit of the milk. Um, there's only just a little bit left in there, and I think we end up tossing a little bit of milk anyway at the end of the end of the feeding. So that's probably what uh, about what's left anyhow. So uh, we're gonna leave this in here for tonight. See if they go ahead and empty it out uh, overnight, um, and then in the morning we'll fill it back up and try it again. What I may end up doing um, was is putting it on the outside of the the uh, pen. Uh, if I can get it, if I could get it to where I put it right here on the outside, then I can milk, I can feed them, or I can fill the bucket up, stick it on the fence, and open the door and let them all come out, let them eat, play, run, them, jump around, be baby goats for a little while, and then get them back inside. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So all in all, I think it was a good, uh, good investment because once they take to it like they should, then it's going to save me a ton of time in the mornings. It's probably going to save me 20 minutes or so in the mornings, which I'm crunched for time anyway for work. 